Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Christina. I'm glad you're here. Let's get right into the video. This is part three of my Scam Dictionary series, and you can find the videos in the Scam Dictionary playlist. And today I wanted to talk about MLM puns. Isn't that self-explanatory, you might ask? Um, no, <laughs> at least it wasn't for me. During the pandemic, I started to consume a lot of anti-MLM content, and I heard the phrase Hun all the time. Oh, the Huns are posting again, the Huns are doing this and that, and I thought, what is that? What is a Hun? Maybe because English isn't my first language, so I wasn't able to make the connection, but I for sure did my research, and I want to share this with you. So I thought it would be a fun video idea. MLM stands for multi-level marketing companies, so it is a business model that is based on people joining a company, buying their way into a company, and then having the ability to recruit other people into the company where you make the most money, or by selling and promoting products, and then get a small commission off of every sale that you make. And connected to that, I heard the word hun a lot. People who work in multi-level marketing companies refer to as Huns. It was in a more satirical or in a more ironic way, and it was quite clear that it was not necessarily a positive term or a term of endearment, but where does it come from? If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing, leaving me a comment, leaving this video a like. I would really appreciate it, and it really does help my channel out a lot. The first thing that came to my mind was the Huns from Mulan, the cute Mulan movie, the animated version with Mushu, not the stupid real life one, the annoying one. No, the one with Mushu, because in my opinion, Mushu is the actual star of Mulan, and I could make a video just about that, but I, I won't. <laughs> really, I promise I won't. It is just about the Huns. To defeat the Huns. I will have that phrase stuck in my ear for the entire day now, for the entire weekend possibly, and you're welcome if uh, that little exertion did the same to you. <laughs> now the Huns were nomadic people who lived in Central Asia, in the Caucasus, and in Eastern Europe between the 4th and 6th century AD, and according to European tradition, they were first reported living east of the Volga River in an area that was part of Scythia at the time, and the Huns arrival is associated with the Great Migration westward. Now, Disney movies don't typically go into specifics there, but that is maybe how you have heard the phrase Hun before, where Mushu and the side character Mulan are fighting the Huns. But, uh, spoiler, that's not why MLM people are called Huns. The word Hun is also a historic word connected to wars and to Germans starting wars. So this is not the cute little fun historic part as I explained in number one, but rather a serious one. And I thought, okay, is this the reason why MLMers are being called Huns? The term Hun became subsequently a negative term from British people towards German people during World War I. The word Hun became an unflattering synonym for German soldiers during World War I and II, used by British people to emphasize their enemy's brutality. Ironically, though, it was the German Kaiser back then, Kaiser Wilhelm II, who phrased and who coined that term. He provided the origin for the usage. On July 22nd, 1900, Wilhelm gave a speech to his troops going to China to grapple with the Boxer Rebellion, and he said that no quarter will be given, no prisoners will be taken. Just as the Huns a thousand years ago, under the leadership of Attila, gained a reputation in virtue of which they still live in historical tradition, so may the name of Germany become known in such a manner in China that no Chinaman will ever again dare to look askance at a German. Now, his very harsh words already very quickly found their way into the press, into the media back then, and that is when the term Hun was spread across Europe and potentially even across the world to define German soldiers, and specifically assigning the cruelty of an enemy, in this case the Germans in World War I and II, 
against their enemies. The term Hun was specifically occupied by the British press towards the German, and accordingly also in World War II, and it was a synonym for brutal enemies marching along and blindly following a leader, taking their orders and believing their every word. And when I heard that, I thought, well, that's a little bit drastic in my opinion, because comparing somebody who is in a multi-level marketing company to a country at war or to soldiers or to military actions that express drastic actions and cruelty, I find that very much over the top. Then again, I also thought, okay, if you take out this part of you are in a group of people and you, you're you kind of forced to stop thinking for survival. In war, it is your physical survival. And in a multi-level marketing company, maybe your financial survival. You also follow a leader, a self-proclaimed leader, because they apparently have the answers to everything. They have the success so you want, so you will follow what they do. And the same could be argued in wars or in World War II, in war Germany, in Nazi Germany back then, mindlessly and blindly following a leader, believing their every word and not doing their own research. But I found that quite inappropriate because it was so drastic. I do not think it is okay to compare people who go into war with people who try to make a living in a multi-level marketing company. But for a good amount of time, I believed that was the reason why anti-MLM creators referred to people in multi-level marketing companies as Huns. And boy, was I wrong when I learned why multi-level marketing people, women specifically, are referred to as Huns. So get ready for the answer. The word Hun is short for the term honey, and it is a very generic way to approach somebody. It can either be in a loving way, if you know that person, or a way to approach somebody or to start a conversation if you don't know much about the other person. Now, in anti-MLM circles, somebody who's referred to as a hun is typically an overly enthusiastic woman or man, but mostly women, because most people in multi-level marketing companies are women, who try to sell you an overpriced product or a business opportunity that is being kept very vaguely. But they're selling you some opportunity. Now, consultants are paid on commission. If you sell a product, you get a small commission. And if you recruit somebody into your downline, you get paid a bigger bonus check. Recruitment is encouraged in multi-level marketing companies. It is financially more beneficial, and that is why people who are in multi-level marketing companies primarily try to recruit people into their downline to make the most money. Han is not necessarily your ordinary MLM consultant. It is someone who is dedicated, overly passionate, overly dedicated, reaching out to every person they know, going through people in their hot and warm market, so people that are closest to them, like family members or friends, and then they will venture into going through their cold market, going to approach people who they don't know in person or on social media, pretty much pitching the opportunity to anybody and everybody, whether they want to hear about it or not. MLMs are not a good business model for the vast majority of consultants. Over 99% of people in multi-level marketing companies across the board do not make money or lose money. Because the business model is designed to function like this, the majority of people who are at the bottom of the pyramid pay into the system so that the very few people at the top of the pyramid can benefit off of that. That is why, in my opinion, MLM companies are very, very predatory because they build their financial success. And the top people also build their financial success inevitably on people in the bottom losing money. That is why they're predatory and that is why an anti-MLM community very strongly since two or almost three years ago now was on the rise. Lots of content creators put out videos critiquing MLMs and giving insights into what's actually happening behind the scenes and giving their commentaries on posts, on reels, and on lives from MLM consultants. Because of the amount of people MLMers have to message and have to approach regularly, they pretty much have to put out a generic message. 
they might need to twist it here or there. But if you reach out to dozens or hundreds of people every single day so that you even have a chance to recruit one person at some point eventually, you will have to create a generic message that you can send out then to as many people as possible. And these messages are typically non-personalized so that they can be sold to all the targets. They include all of the targets that you want to approach, which is everyone. And these messages typically start with a phrase, hey, hun, ah, light bulb moment. Yeah, it took me over a year to recognize that. <laughs> An example of a message like this could be, hey, hun, I haven't spoken to you since high school. How are you doing? I totally love your amazing Instagram profile. And I totally admire your hair and skin. And you would be so good at what I'm doing. I'm building my own multi-million dollar business in the pockets of time available during my day with luxury hair care and skin care products that pretty much sell themselves. And I would love to teach you how to do the same. You always look like a supermodel and a totally successful influencer. This is so doable for you. Are you interested? Adding a couple of emojis. That is your typical MLM hun message. And it starts with the phrase, hey hun. And that led to the anti-MLM community or anti-MLM creators call these people MLM huns. Mystery solved. People have caught up with this very generic way of approaching people and calling everybody hey hun. So I would argue that the Hey Han message is more of a relic at this point. You might hear it and see it here or there occasionally, but people have caught up with this kind of tactic. People from outside MLMs, but also people within MLMs, have realized that these generic Hey Han cliche messages will very, very likely not be successful for them, aka they will not be able to sell a product or to recruit someone. So the tactics are evolving and MLM representatives now try to establish a totally honest and legitimate and genuine connection with people before they pitch them. So if you go onto your Instagram and you see that somebody is hiking and you're thinking, mm -hmm. I was hiking five years ago, I can pitch that person, I can approach them. Or if you see people who interact with dogs, I like dogs. A friend of mine once had a dog, it would be totally genuine for me to reach out to that person. That is kind of the new tactic. Find a common ground and then attract them. And not at all with a staged tactic like uh, three, two, one, like somebody's post three times, give them positive and uplifting comments twice, and then slide into your targets, uh, sorry, into uh, the person's totally genuine DM and send them an invite to your business opportunity totally genuinely once. That's a three to one tactic. And what screams genuine more than you having a tactic? Genuinely, totally, honestly, genuinely. No, really, it's genuine. It's not staged. It's not a hey hon message. It's genuine, okay, suck it. Or maybe you have also heard of the totally genuine 10 4 2 tactic. Give 10 people genuine samples from your company that you yourself have to purchase, of course, as a rep. If you don't get this gifted, so send those out genuinely to people who you genuinely think would be so good at doing what you're doing with those genuinely amazing samples. Get four genuine VIP customers hooked on those amazing products in a month. And also recruit two people who genuinely would be amazing at this. These are real life tactics, by the way. I've seen those on multiple occasions. And I think the last time was on Hannah Alonzo's channel when she jumped on a team call. I will link that down below. It's very, very funny and very interesting and very genuine how the MLM ladies try to approach their targets genuinely. Yeah, go ahead and check it out. Hannah is an amazing content creator and the video was really, really very interesting and eye-opening. So I would encourage you to check it out if you want to learn about the 3 to one or about the 10 4 2 tactic. That is very genuine. Or in addition to those genuine tactics, you just genuinely post on your social media 24-7. You create reels, you create posts that look visually interesting. 
you genuinely share about products you love and about a genuinely amazing business opportunity and you wait until people uh, will approach you so that you can pitch them. You're genuinely doing that all the time, always. And you stir every genuine connection and every genuine conversation you have back towards the product and back towards the business model until finally somebody will reach out and will ask you what you have to offer genuinely. In addition to that, other tactics that I've seen are also totally genuine and personalized voice messages that you send to potential recruits, which is not weird at all, or non-personalized videos where you send people a video message that is also not creepy at all, and also totally genuinely advising people that they would be so amazing at what you're doing and that the products are the best of the best and they need to join you genuinely. But in that video or in that voice message, they will just leave out the hey hun part. And that is why MLM huns are being called MLM huns. I thought that was a fun, cute little video because I genuinely didn't know for over a year. And I hope you find this, well, at least entertaining and maybe educational as well. The MLM ladies are also catching up and their tactics are also evolving. So be on the lookout for sketchy messages. They might still be very, very general, but if people genuinely try to connect to you with some sort of tactic behind that, with some sort of pitch in mind, re-stirring a conversation into one direction over and over and over again, I hope that some red flags might pop up in your mind and you're a little bit more careful. It could be an MLM lady or an MLM man trying to pitch you their business opportunity or at least try to sell you some products. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please uh, comment down below. Please give this video a like and consider subscribing. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Tschüss!